it has been a long time I haven't uploaded anything here on my YouTube channel but for today's video I decided to share with you um, some updates on how you can create classrooms okay, for your class in classes for free of course I don't want to make this introduction so long we're going to start right now we shall start by logging in to my class in yeah so the icon should look like this one so I'm just logging in right now I tried to open the app here and you can see uh, for you to log in you have to key in your account number and also the password of course and if you want to log in immediately when you open your class in without typing anything anymore you just have to click on the remember password button and then after that it, you can also see the server in here what I usually do is click on this one and try to access the lowest MS so it's actually red I don't know why so I just have to choose the um, lowest MS here which is 60 and then login Wow, it's taking a long time. Okay, there you have it. You can see right now the interface of classing. And here are also my students. I've got some here already. And we are going to, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how you are going to create classes. But of course, you have to make sure that you have already added your student. So, for example, my student is teacher, okay, Seth, okay, this is my sister's account anyway, yeah, I have to create, okay, firstly, I have to create a class here, you can see, and then I'm going to make or key in the name of the student, for example, teacher Seth, okay, class here, and then create class and you can already see here the name of the class teacher sets class and you can see here add members and share share class you have to add first the student so it will direct you to your contacts and you just have to look for teacher Z and then you add that one and then yeah you can see here teacher Z join the class now you are ready to create classes for teacher Z. so you can see at the top of it just below the name of the class um, chat task test and course so you have to click on the course and then you can see here the add lessons button you have to click on that one and now it yeah it lets you set the date when you have the class so for example the class will be tomorrow so that's August 26 for example at what time so let's try to choose um 8 in the morning okay create so you can see here the details of the class okay it is the date when you have the class the time okay and how long the class will be so that will last for the classroom lasts for 40 minutes so Maybe you're, you're, you're asking me right now, okay, what if you have an hour class? Um, there's no way for us to extend the class, okay, uh, the class time anymore. The only way we can do, since we are just using class in for free, we don't pay anything. The, only, the best thing that we can do is to add lessons in here. So it's expected that the classroom, the first classroom that we're gonna make will last until 8.40. So before your class ends at 8.40, make sure that you have already readied your, the, the second classroom. So what I usually do is that um, you set the date, okay, and the class, the first class, the first classroom lasts until 8.40. So I have to make the classroom or set the time for the classroom um, five minutes before 8.40 so that will be 8.35 okay why I do this one okay so that um, when the classroom already ends it's 
Okay, uh, you can already easily get or uh, get into the second classroom. No hassle for that. So you just have to create that one. And there you are. And if you have one or more classes to have, you can add, add, and add more lessons here. Okay, more classrooms. That's the only way we can do right now. Okay, so that's it, guys. I guess you just have to, okay, check on this one, right? And how would you be able to enter in the class? Okay, once you have made this, um, you will see things like this one. Okay, so that will be tomorrow, 8 o'clock. And then this one, okay, the second classroom will, uh, will automatically um, let you in at around 8.35 just after the, your the first class so um, okay so i think i can share with you also the other okay the others the other functions okay above here you can see also here the task so if you want to leave some homework or assignment for your um students you can do it here so post task for example you can see here, um, you can attach here a picture, okay, an image, an audio, and if you want to get the task from the cloud, okay, from your, from the class in drive, you just have to click this one, it directs you already to your drive, class in drive, okay, you can choose from the folders you have there, and if you want to post something from your computer, okay, this this uh, button here or icon here will direct you to your computer's documents. Okay, just have to attach it here. Once, okay, let's for, uh, let's have this one for example. So in image, okay, it directs me also to my computer. I have to go to the downloads. That's where I can get the image I wanna attach. Okay, there you are. It's already uploading and just wait for it to be uploaded. It's already there and um, You can see on the right corner on the right side of this post task to start when you want the student to start the task So maybe just after you finish the class, right? So that will be like around 9 o'clock in the morning Okay, so it's 9 o'clock and then when okay you just have to okay and when do you want it to be finished by the student so you said it like 27 let's say 27 at 11 p.m. okay and you just have to set okay there um, this is already the grading yeah do you want it like no rating or you want it to grade it like a hundred mark 10 mark okay you have also like the full marks here you can set it here User defined mark this way, full marks here. Okay, usually I do it like no rating. And then for the public stats, I don't really have to change this one. Okay, but I have to allow my student to download the attachments so that they can access it freely. And then after doing that one, okay, you can confirm immediately. Uh, anyway, if you want to save, yeah, the homework, okay, to your task bank. In your drive you can also click on this one and okay confirm oh slacking so slow all right so you can see there okay so it's already posted here successfully yeah if you want to add more you just have to click on this one that's how you add um, and if you want to see whether uh, the student has already checked it or not, okay, you can see it here. Teacher Z is still unchecked, so that means that the student hasn't reviewed it yet. All right, that's it. Okay. All right. So if you want to delete the task, you have to click on the three dots here on the on the upper right corner on the right side, of course. Okay. Yeah, so you will be able to, you will be notified if the student has already reviewed the task that you have posted here. Okay, that's it guys. So thank you so much for taking some time to watch this video and I hope that I can help you more with more videos in the future. Okay, there you have it guys. I hope you learned something from my video. 
and I'm wishing or I'm hoping that you're going to have a more interactive classes with your students using the new classrooms, longer classrooms that you can make at Classin. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet into my channel, please do so now so that you can be more updated with some upcoming videos that I'm going to upload. And also, please don't hesitate to like or comment some things below for, uh, for me to know what you have in mind. And if you can recommend some contents that you want me to cover, I would really gladly to um, make some videos about them as long as I can do them, as long as I have some knowledge about those okay, contents you want me to do. Um, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Thank you guys and till next video. Bye!